What up guys, for Complex News, I'm Frazier. On Wednesday night, it was being rumored on social media that Drake would be dealing with, quote, the situation. Based on Pusha T's scathing diss track, The Story of Adidon, there was a number of situations Drake could be dealing with, from his alleged son Adonis to his forthcoming Adidas deal that Push seemingly leaked. Later that night, it turned out that Drake was referring to the David Leia's photo of him in blackface that Pusha released alongside his diss track. Drake dropped a statement in an Instagram story to explain the photo's origins. I know everyone is enjoying the circus, but I want to clarify this image in question. This was not from a clothing brand shoot or my music career. This picture's from 2007, a time in my life where I was an actor and I was working on a project that was about young black actors struggling to get roles, being stereotyped and typecast. The photos represented how African Americans were once wrongfully portrayed in entertainment. Me and my best friend at the time, Mazin El Sadig, who was also an actor from Sudan, were attempting to use our voice to bring awareness to the issues we dealt with all the time as black actors at auditions. This was to highlight and raise our frustrations with not always getting a fair chance in the industry and to make a point that the struggle for black actors had not changed much. For anyone unaware of Mazin, he worked with Drake on Degrassi The Next Generation, playing the role of Damian Hayes while Drake was Jimmy Brooks. When the image first came out, many assumed that, due to Drake's attire, it was a shoot for the clothing brand Two Black Guys. But in an official statement released to Complex, Two Black Guys founder Adrian Aitchison set the record straight. The photo in question was not from a Two Black Guys photo shoot. However, it did feature clothing from Two Black Guys' Jim Crow Tour House of Crow collection, which was released in 2008. Although this was not an image from any of our photo shoots, we feel that Drake, who was a longtime friend of the brand, was brilliantly illustrating the hypocrisy of the Jim Crow era. The subtleties of Drake, a young black man, mimicking how white men used to mimic and dehumanize black people may be lost in a rap battle, but we should not be distracted from the issues that are still affecting our communities. Now, Drake handling the situation first isn't a surprise. There's a lot of confusion online regarding the origins of the image, Push Unearthed, and it was the cause of debate on morning radio at Hot 97 and other outlets. Plus, it must have been easier to explain this image's origin than going into the conversation about his alleged child and the Adidas brand that is reportedly named after him. The legal red tape of maneuvering alone is a lot to get situated. Either way, Drake's in an album cycle and has time to get his ducks in a row regarding how he'll tackle the topics of his son and how that plays into his Adidas deal. It's a lot to unpack, but no doubt will come to light in the very near future, possibly in a response track. For Complex News, I'm Frazier, and for more stories like this, keep a like right here to Complex News on YouTube.